D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I just finished Miss Marvel episode five. Now, this, you guys, I don't know what to say about this episode because it wasn't, it was just not good. That's what I have to say about it. It just wasn't good. Now, was it god awful? No, but I don't know what they're sorry. My hair is all crazy. I just, uh, whatever. It doesn't even matter. Like the problem with this episode was, is it was mostly not about Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. And then like, and then they had this weird time travel thing going down and you're just like, okay. And then there's like, no, there's no powers. And then you get like who the bad guy is going to be at the end. And you're like the whole time. I'm just like, what's going on here? Like nothing good, nothing good. And yeah, I'm just like, yeah, it was just not good. It was so, and boring, like a little boring. I mean, like, I don't know what they're trying to do. And this is the penultimate episode. We have one more episode and we still haven't seen her in her costume. This costume over here that we're supposed to see her in. We haven't seen her in that costume yet. And we're, we're not going to get it to the last one. So unless there's more than six episodes, but I think this is only six episodes. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it's 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 just not good. It's just not good. <laughs> we have one episode left for her to like kick butt and show some real powers and stuff. And I'm all like, this is this is just bad. This is just bad. Uh, all right, I'm going to get started on this breakdown just so I can get this over with. Um, but before I do, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So now that I'm done with that nonsense, let's get started on this breakdown. So it starts off with this little like movie reel and talks about India and then the partition and the president of India or whatever. And there's Gandhi in here and stuff looking at Gandhi and everything. So this is British occupied India in 1942. And it starts off with Aisha and she's running and she is running fast. Like she's booking, like she's like <laughs> and everything. And then this, this British soldier guy is following her and he's like, he's like, stop or I'll shoot. And she turns around, she throws a knife at him, kills him. She's like, yeah, take that. And so then we go to this little marketplace in this village or whatnot, and there's Aisha's uh, soon-to-be husband, and he's basically giving them a speech and talking about how, you know, they need to uh, stand up and, you know, not take this crap sitting down, and even if they have to sacrifice their lives for it, uh, it's worth it and everything, which me, I go, okay, that's fine, uh, but I just go, um, you know, it's, it's I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. So anyways, uh, so then she she sees him and she's like, huh, he's he's hot. He's a hottie patati. He's adorable. He is cute. And she's very pretty, very pretty. Uh, so then uh, she's sleeping and everything. And he wakes her up and, he, and she's like, if you touch me, I will break your leg. And he's all like, interesting, because I don't really use go ahead. I don't really use this one anyways. He's like, but you're sleeping on my roses. And he's got this little like rose garden or whatever. And it's obvious that he uh is a farmer of uh, flowers and everything. He talks about it later on, but uh, he's all like, listen, he's like, if you want, you can sleep in my house and you can, I'll, I'll, you can have some food. And he's like, but make your choice. If you don't, you don't, it's fine, whatever. So she comes to his house and he's, he offers her food. And I can't remember what this is called, but he's all like, uh, now I know it's an act because no one can turn down a freshly uh, uh, fried, whatever this is called and everything. So she sits down and she eats and everything. He's like, what's your name? And he's like, well, where are you from? And then he starts talking to her and everything about, you know, the flowers or something or not. And she's all like, Aisha. And then uh, we fast forward and she's, he's, you know, talking about the flowers or whatever. And she's like, we are building a home here and everything. And she's Praggers. Um, so he, they've been getting down with the dibbity dibbity. Look how cute they are. Anyways. So then the baby's like going up and she she gives her the bangle or whatever to like play with and stuff and, and everything. And they've obviously fallen on hard times now. And it's about it's it's the part where it's the partition and everything. And he's been, um, you know, not treated well because he's Muslim. And this guy comes and he brings um, them milk and stuff like that. And he's all like, do not take his charity or whatever. And she's all like, 
So like he's just overreacting. He's like, no, he's like, no one will buy my flowers from me. And he's all like, uh, because I am Muslim and everything. He's like, calm down. He's like, uh, oh, this time too shall pass or whatever. And she sends him away and everything. And as she's closing the door, she sees the woman in the background or whatever. <laughs> the woman. Um, um, and then this is this is her her little uh her little uh uh gin uh friend. I don't remember what her name is called. Uh, her name is called, hold on, I'm trying to find it. Uh, but so, so she goes out there and she's all like, she's like, I finally found you or whatnot. And she's all like, where is the, um, the uh, uh, what's it called? The, the Brangle. Um, and she's all like, I've hidden it. It'll take me some time to find it. So, and she's like, well, we need to get it so we can get home kind of thing. And so uh, they hug or whatnot. And she's like, you have until the morning. So then she, uh, you know, they, they, they're doing their thing. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find this lady's name. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So she she goes in and they're packing up and she's like, we need to get out of here now. She's like, they're they're going across the, the country, burning down houses, killing people. And she's like, this is the there's the last train. We need to get out. We need to get out of here. And everything. She gives her daughter the bangle and that's her grandma, uh, uh, Kamala's grandmother. And so they're they're traveling to the train station. She's like, he's like, you're going too fast and everything because I'm a cripple. She's all like, listen, this is the last train, so we need to get on it now, hooker. And uh, he's like, tell me the truth. He's like, what's going on? He's like, who is that woman? He's like, just tell me. He's like, I don't care what it was. Just tell me. And she she shows him the bracelet, and it lights up and everything. But uh, he did, that's all that happens, because they need to get on the train, like, ASAP. Mm. Meanwhile, this is, like, half the episode, this whole nonsense right here. Like, we did – this was not needed for the story. I'll tell you that right now. It wasn't needed, but, you know, we got it. They didn't give us what we needed. They gave us what they they think – what they what they wanted. Anyways, so everybody's getting on the train and everything, and, and she separates. She's like, take her, get on the train. I'll, I'll be there and everything. And she meets up with uh, – what's her face? The daughter uh, and him. I can't walk away. Sorry. It's early for me right now. That's why I'm drinking copious amounts of coffee. So then she stabs her and she's like, you betrayed us. She's like, you, uh, hold on. She's like, you, you left us. You betrayed us. You, you know, we're your family and everything. And then she stabs her with her little knife blade thingy. And she's like, I will find the bangle and I will take us home or some crap like that. And she's all like, it won't work. It won't work. And I'm like, I think it's, it won't work because it's, it's her bangle or whatever. Um, and so the daughter, uh, the grandma, who's a girl right now, she gets separated or whatnot. And then, so Aisha calls on her, uh, and everything and it lights up the bracelet lights up. And then they, we get that little, that little blast from the last episode and then boom, Kamala's there. She's there. She traveled back in time, back in time anyways. And she sees Aisha and she's like, oh my gosh, Aisha. And she's all like, and she thinks that it, this is her daughter. And she's like. She's all like, I'm not, you know, her. And she's like, don't. And she's like, it doesn't matter. It worked. And she's like, oh, like save them or whatever. Mm. And so the little girl separated, but she finds her and she's like, it's going to be okay. And she, she uses her powers to make those little steps, but she gets knocked over or whatever. And then uh, her grandmother makes these stars, these little, these little star trinkets in the sky. And that was the blanket of stars that she followed to get to her dad. And her dad sees him. He's like, Aisha. And then he grabs his daughter and they get on the train and they're off. And her bracelet glows and she goes back to the future. Okay. Or back to the you know present time. Everybody wakes up and the portal has opened. They're all like, the veil is open and everything. And then her mom's trying to call her and uh, she's all like, she's not answering the phone and she didn't come home last night. And her grandmother's all like, you know, one time, you know, my dog got out and I, I just used the track, the, uh, the tracking chip. And she's all like, this is not a dog. This is a girl. And uh, I'm like, and me, I just go, how do you know? You're not a biologist anyways. And she goes, uh, and she's all like, she's like, but if I could have that done, I would. And, she's, and then the, this guy is smart. And he's like, why don't you just use the app? on your the my my uh, uh my phone app or whatever it's called and he's like and then you can track the phone and she's all like so it's like a, a a big brother system for parents he's like sort of and she's like how am i just now finding out about this and i'm all like uh listen i'm not overwhelmingly huge tech savvy but i know about <laughs> that stuff <laughs> like so 
they track her down, but the veil is open. And uh, they're like, she's like, we can go home now. And the black lady goes up to touch it and it, it turns her into vapor. Like she's all Zorgified and then she turns into dust. Um, and she, she helps save these people a little bit. And then she tries to close it and she's like, it won't work. You'll die. And she's like, and she's like, we have to close it or it'll destroy everything. And she's like, I can do it. And she's like, what about um, her son? And his name is cutie patootie that's what it is no it's um what is it jesus this thing sucks man oh my gosh i just need two more seconds you cutie patooties okay so uh cameron uh uh she's like what and she's like what about cameron and she's like she's like you have, you have to live for him and she's like no i left him and everything she's like but i can close and everything and she goes to the thing and the portal's like sucking out her energy or whatever and she before she dies she says camera and then it turns her into you know this and then she turns into dust and then it closes right and this little green stuff go finds cameron and it hits him and he, his eyes glow up and then he falls and he gets the little thingies and everything and i'm like great and everything i'm like i don't know what that means uh he's obviously gonna be the bad guy now and i'm all like I, I'm like, I don't even care, yo, because like, this is the thing, like I said before, this episode wasn't like bad, but like it was kind of boring and everything. So then she uses her powers to block the, the blast and everything. And her mother sees it and she's like, are your hands hurt? And he says, she's like, no. And she's like, so you have this power. Why didn't you tell me kind of thing? And she gives her the photo. And she's like, how did you get this? She's like, it's a long story or whatever. She goes and says goodbye to him. He's like, I got to tell the others. He's like, plus I got warrants off for my arrest. I'm like, okay, anyways. He's like, uh, we shall see each other again. I'm like, hopefully not, because uh, I do not want a season two of this nonsense. Um, then they, you know, find her necklace. They're like, it's Kamala's necklace. It broke. She's like, but it broke in half into the little Z where we'll get it on her costume, um, which I'm all like, okay, great and everything. And then they're sitting here looking at old photos of her mother in 80s garb, which I thought she looked pretty rad. She's like, no, that's her and everything. She's like, they're like Bon Jovi. And I'm like, oh, who doesn't love Bon Jovi? Weirdos. This was such a weird scene after what happened. It was like, whatever. Um, and then I can't remember what she said. She's like something about like finding you kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe that was my purpose. And then back at this bodega. Hey, guys, bodega. Um, they don't have grocery stores in New York because... New York is trash. They just have bodegas. That's I'm 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 mocking that bodega bro. Although I mean, bodega bro did nothing wrong. Um. So then a camera goes to Bruno and he's like, Brian. He's all like, Hey, what's up, dude? He's like, I need help. And he's like, Oh, look at this. I argon. It's my favorite element. Um. I don't get this joke. Eighteen argon. I don't get the joke. Anyways. Uh, Harkon. I don't know. Anyways, and he's like, yeah. And he's like, you're into cars. He's like, yeah, maybe we could have been best friends. He's like, oh, your name is Bru uh, Bruno. And he's like, yeah, I didn't notice the 15 times you called me Brian and everything. He's like, sorry, dude. And he's like, listen, you can stay the night. And he's like, no, I need some place to stay. My mom's dead. And he's like, my parents are gone too and everything. And then, um, and then uh, they're sitting there and everything. And he's looking very psycho right there. Um, and then they notice, he notices this drone in the window, which kind of looks like the drones from Spider-Man, but not 100%. Anyways, and he's like, oh, no, I was followed. And he blasts the drone, which then sends a missile into the bottom of the bodega, which blows up. And then that's the end of the episode. Again, this episode was very like, I don't know. I don't know what they were trying to do with this episode. I don't know if they were trying to like, ah. Uh, I honestly don't know because like that be like the origins of the bracelet, like there could have been some that first, the, the first half of this could have been summed up in 10 minutes and they just wasted so much time. And now we only have one episode left and it's like, all right, let's just wrap this sucker up. Cause I got stuff to do. And I don't know, man, like it's just, it's just, so it was just, it's just, okay. I take it back. It's not a good episode. It's not a good episode. It's just, it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, this show is not that great. I mean, it's charming in places, but so what? I mean, there's so much good television out there and Marvel has, you know, done good works in the past. 
Um, but this is not one of them. Like this is very mediocre in my opinion. And listen, and also if you like this, I'm not dissing on you for liking it. You like what you like. I can't, I can't stop you from liking what you like. And I can't tell you what to like. I can only tell you that this is something I don't like, and it's just not good. Um, it's, it's, it's lazy storytelling. Um, like even the story is very boring. I, I just I don't know. I don't just I just don't understand how people can watch this show and like it. Like and and explain to me. Like I'm not dissing on you. I'm just I just don't get it. That's my whole thing. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. That's my breakdown, you guys, and my review, my 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 rant, my my breakdown and rant. That's what this should be called. My breakdown and this because this is the penultimate episode. This we have one more episode, and let me just ask you right now. Oh, there was nothing that happened in this episode that furthers the story significantly. Like nothing, nothing at all. And I'm just like, it, it's just, it's just not, it's just not that great. I don't know, man. I, I will see. Maybe they can wrap it up. I doubt it though. That's the problem with these Marvel shows is sometimes they start out strong and then they sizzle down to nothing. Sometimes they're just crap the whole way through. Sometimes they start out bad and they end kind of okay. I don't know. I haven't personally liked any of them except for Hawkeye. And I still have my problems with the ending of that one. Um, but yeah, this, uh, it's not, this is not that good. This episode, especially. This is probably the worst episode out of all of them. The worst. All right, you guys, again, that's my rant, my breakdown and rant of this episode. Tell me what you guys thought about this. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Where do you think we're going to go from here? Because, uh, yeah, I don't I don't even know. I don't even care. Just I just want to end it so I, I don't have to deal with this anymore. All right, you guys. Well, that is my thoughts and everything. Go ahead and leave. Tell me what you think and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you didn't channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week on my Ms. Marvel Breakdown and Review. You guys have a good week. Bye.